When it comes to comparing ourselves with other students, you have to understand that they're not the decision makers. And so the only people you should be focusing on are yourself, right? Like, and the decision makers, AKA the school. If you want to become a physical therapist, but for some reason you feel behind everyone else that you know, whether because you are going back to retake classes or you've taken a few years off and now you're either taking classes or planning to apply and you just feel behind, this is the training for you. And if you enjoy this one, please be sure to like, subscribe, share this training out with another friend that you believe will benefit from it. Uh, and just keep, keep listening to all the other great value that we're going to be giving you on this platform. Uh, but my name is Joseph Googie. I am a physical therapist. I am a PT school acceptance coach and one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, where for years we've been helping students get accepted into physical therapy school without wasting time or money. And the students we've been working with are students that have uh, struggled for a number of different reasons, whether it's because of grades, whether it's because of just not knowing where to start, whether it's because uh, other people told them that this dream of becoming a PT was impossible. And so those are the students that we work with and they've been able to get into PT school. And if they've been able to do it, then you can too. But for this particular training, we're talking about feeling behind. So if you feel behind as a student, uh, let's break it down, uh, how to navigate that and how to still stand out as an applicant, how to still get accepted into PT school. Um, and so this concept of feeling behind, let's let's kind of peel it back a little bit or peel the layers back a little bit. The, the reason why I ever feel behind um, is because I'm comparing myself to students who I feel are ahead of me, AKA I'm comparing myself to other pre PTs, right? I can't feel behind unless I'm comparing myself to someone else, right? You'll like, that's just how it works. It's just like, um, you know, when, when life is going great as a kid, you don't know anything different, but then you go to school for the first time and you see someone else that has better shoes than you or different shoes than you, then now all of a sudden you're made aware that there's something that you're lacking, right? And so, um, when we feel behind, it's just because we're comparing ourselves to other students and that's where the problem begins. So for example, let's say you are a non-traditional student. In fact, we had a student who, um, she, she's actually, believe it or not, currently the head coach of one of our top coaching programs. But back when she was a pre-PT, um, she had been away from school for seven years. In fact, she had finished her, her degree. I, I believe that initially she wanted to be a physical therapist, but um, things didn't work out or she changed her mind and she went down a different career path for seven years. And after that seven year period, she decided, Hey, I still want to be a PT. I still want to become a physical therapist. And so she decided to go back, but now she felt behind. She felt behind because there were students that were coming straight out of their junior year, getting ready to apply to PT school straight out of their senior year getting ready to apply to PT school. And here she was seven years out. And so there are students that we get that are that many years out. We recently had a student get into PT school this past fall um, who was 39 years old and now is about to start PT school at 40 years old, which also goes to another topic that we'll discuss on another training about um, am I ever too old to become a physical therapist? And the answer is no to that, but we will discuss that in depth for another training. But when it comes to feeling behind, like there's many different reasons why we feel behind. Another reason why we see students feeling behind is um, if they apply the first time they apply to PT school, they apply with many of their peers, classmates that they have uh, gone through college with, they all apply at the same time and their classmates get accepted, but they themselves do not. And then they reapply again and maybe they get rejected again and then they reapply again and maybe get rejected again. And now all of a sudden they feel like they're one, two and three years behind where they should have been. And so um, for whatever reason, if that is you, if you can identify with any of those or anything in between where you just feel behind, the first thing I want you to do is to stop focusing on other students. That is the first mistake. The first mistake is we are looking at other students and you have to realize that the other students that you're focusing on, whether they've already gotten into PT school, whether they are physical therapy students, not whether they are also pre PTs, they are not the ones that are going to make the decision on whether or not you will get into a PT program. Does that make sense? Because I think this whole time we spend so much of our energy as students and we can go down the rabbit hole of anxiety and whatnot. But like I said, I'll leave all of those for another training. And I've discussed some of these things before, but when it comes to comparing ourselves with other students, you have to understand that 
they're not the decision makers. And so the only people you should be focusing on are yourself, right? Like, and the decision makers, AKA the schools, right? So am I focusing most of my, am I taking that same energy that I'm using to compare myself to other students, those same students that make me feel behind? And am I using that same focus, that same energy and focusing it on the schools that I'm trying to get accepted into? And I'm pouring it into either picking the right schools, which is something we talk about a lot, or just making sure that when I do pick the right schools, I'm investing my time and energy and effort in getting to know those schools in and out. I'm talking about beyond what's on their school website. And if I can do that, then that is what gives me the ability to turn things around and get accepted into not just one, but multiple PT schools to where you can actually make the choice of which school you wanna to go to or which school you don't want to go to. But that doesn't happen if all of your focus and energy is on other students. Does that make sense? Right? So if you feel behind, remember, we can only feel behind if we're comparing ourselves to something or someone, and that's usually other students. So switch your focus from those students and start shifting it towards the schools that you want to apply to. And if you can do that, then things will start working in your favor. Then now all of that like same emotion and, you know, whatever you want to call it can now be leveraged to work in your favor. In fact, some of the students that we've worked with over the years who have had the biggest obstacles, whether it's super low GPAs, they've had to use the emotion of feeling behind or feeling like they were not good enough. They used that and turned it into this engine that pushed them to give everything they could into becoming the best possible applicant that they could be. They poured that into retaking classes and doing everything in their power to be intentional about finding people that could help them retake these classes, whether that was a tutor or a coach or whatnot, so that they could not just get a C again, they could get an A the second time. They poured every ounce of energy into researching the schools beyond what was on their websites. They talked to students that have gone to those schools. They talked to alumni that had been a part of those programs. They talked to faculty members. They they, they found whatever research articles those professors had written and they read those, like I'm telling you right now, they just went all in, but they used that same emotion, that same stress, that same feeling of feeling behind, that same emotion or that same energy that was being pushed towards comparing themselves to other students. And they started leveraging that and shifting it over to the schools that they were applying to. If you can make that shift, then you give yourself a playing chance of getting into a PT program. Does that make sense? And so if you have been feeling left behind, just understand it's because you're comparing <laughs> stop comparing. And the only way you can stop comparing is if you shift your focus from students to the schools. Now, if you're still stuck and you're like, I don't know how to pick the right schools. I don't know how to make this thing work. I don't know how to give myself the ability to stand out and leverage that and talk to the schools and become an irresistible applicant to those programs so that I don't have to apply one year, two years, three years, four years. If you don't know where to begin, we got you. That's what we do. So go to www.acceptedstrategy.com, www.acceptedstrategy.com. Schedule a conversation with one of our team members. We will talk to you about your situation specifically, and then we will pull from the hundreds of students that we have worked with who are very similar to you and tell you, hey, here's the best strategy, here's the best game plan, here's the best framework, and here are resources that we have to support you along your journey. So um, that is it, that's a great place to start, but I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope this opens your mind into how to perceive things as a student, but if you shift your focus from other people, from other people that you're comparing to, to the people that are actually making the decisions, which is the school, but also yourself, right? Figuring out how can I improve myself? How can I pour into myself? How can I build my focus, my diligence, my consistency, my, uh, my mental endurance, whatever that is, how can I work on those things? Then that's where uh, beautiful things start to happen for you. So that's it. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. We'll see you on the next training. Have a blessing. Bye.